Redstone is probably the single most versatile item in Minecraft, but one of its functions is often forgotten, yet the only thing most players even consider mining it for. Oh, nice, level 30. PXP. But you can also use it to create useful contraptions, like a trash bin that you can use to burn those three stacks of redstone dust you're never going to use. But what else can it do? Because unless you're a nerd, you've probably only seen redstone in memes over that one time when Dream made a flying machine in his manhunt. You can build the simplest thing, like a redstone loop, using some dust and two repeaters. But then there are also people that build Minecraft in Minecraft. What the fuck? How? Today, we will look at the prior. With redstone, you have the equivalent of electricity in the real world. You can power things like lamps or pistons or constructs of mass extinction. You know, the things that actually matter. But for all of this, you need a source. Luckily, we have many to choose from. Like buttons, pressure plates, levers, redstone boxes, torches, observers, tripwires, daylight sensors, comparators, skulk sensors, calibrated skulk sensors, lightning rods, trap chests, detector rails, targets, jukeboxes, lecterns, observers, entrances, and bookshelves. And now we have electricity. But yeah, these are called power components. I should mention that to any redstone contraption, there are three components. The one I just mentioned, they make the dust light up. And then you have transmission components, they conduct this signal. Here are things like the dust, or a repeater. And lastly, the mechanism component. This is the thing that does stuff, like a piston. It moves blocks or crushes the life out of a mob of your choosing. Okay, wait a second. Before this gets too boring, here's some useful things you can build with redstone real quick. Bubble elevator, extra machine, lighter launch, XP bank, power plant, blaze from piston or sorting system, super smelter. And no, I will not be explaining how to build any of them. I'm a redstone YouTuber. And now, back to the program. Components and blocks can be either powered or not. Some will show it by lighting up, and some won't. But a powered block basically has electricity running through it. So if I put a redstone signal into this block and place a trapdoor here, it'll open. Huzzah! Oh, and it should be noted that there are two different power outputs, a signal and an impulse. An impulse is like this button. The door closes after a bit of time. But this lever gives off a signal, so the door will stay open forever. Hey! But because there is only dust going into this block, it has low power. It's soft powered. So it, for example, can't power new redstone dust I put here. But if I put a repeater here, it has more power. It's hard powered. And makes the redstone light up. Repeaters can exert high power and intake low power inputs, so this also works. And now you can understand why this doesn't work, but this does. Because here, the redstone can't transmit the power into the mechanism components. But here, it powers the block below it and activates these pistons. You should also note that redstone signals can travel up slabs if there's air between them and also go down at the same time. But it, the redstone signal can be transmitted downwards from the slabs, so you can build kind of an elevator like this. But back to the fun part. How do we crush our enemies with this technology? With a mob grinder, of course. But how does it work? It's quite simple, really. We first need to put our unsuspecting victims into this hole. Then we put a piston next to their head and push this cool lever. And now slowly, our power component is sending a signal through our transmission components into our mechanism components to fulfill our sacred duty of freeing this orphan from the suffering this cruel cold world may ever bring upon. Or we could make a sugarcane farm. Whatever floats your boat. But some important things to know are, a redstone signal only travels for 15 block. This is 16. Wait, what? And it can be extended using repeaters, because they repeat the signal with a little delay. When you click on them, you increase that delay. Or you could use comparators, but we don't really talk about comparators. Next, pistons can only push 12 blocks. And if you add more, it just won't work. And slime blocks stick to blocks around them, so you can push multiple layers of blocks with just one piston. And lastly, don't use comparators.